Police in Gilbert, Arizona have released the results of their lengthy investigation into the death of Alex Cox, the brother of Lori Vallow Daybell. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher joins us to explain what they found about his sudden death more than a year ago and why the case is now closed. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly and Bob. So up until this point, we knew that Alex died of natural causes, but we didn't know anything else surrounding it. And of course, a lot of suspicions were raised because he died just a few months after his niece and nephew, JJ and Tylee, were murdered. Well, tonight we know what the signs were leading up to his death. Um, I have uh, a older male here named Alex. He's a uh, he just passed out here on the on my, on my bathroom. December 12th, 2019, before the world found out about the disappearance of JJ and Tylee in Idaho, their uncle, Alex Cox, the man police have now tied to their deaths, died himself mysteriously in Arizona. Yo, Alex. Alex. He's not, he's not breathing. His untimely death so close after the murders of his niece and adopted nephew no, left people wondering funny. the circumstances. I... According to the newly released investigation into Alex Cox's death, police interviewed Alex's new wife of two weeks, Zulema Pestenas, and her family members. One officer reported that Zulema said Alexander has not been feeling very well over the past few days. She also said Alexander has been suffering shortness of breath with the slightest of movements. Another officer said Zulema reported to the hospital that Alex had a friend, name redacted, give him a blessing over the phone. The name redacted then texted Zulema and told her Alex was not doing well and she should leave work and go home. She called Alex and he was having a hard time talking to her. It's really bad. Come upstairs in the bathroom. We need to get him on his back. Zulema's adult son called 911 to report him passed out. Zulema's daughter, Kara, later told officers Kara referred to Alex as being very religious. Alex moved into the redacted residence around Thanksgiving 2019. Thanksgiving week is when police busted into Alex's apartment and his sister Lori's apartment in Idaho to serve a warrant in the disappearance of Lori's children, JJ and Tylee. Alex's death report says, Kara stated Alex's sister Lori and her mother had been good friends and attended the same LDS show? church. Kara called her mother and Lori preppers and explained preppers were preparing for the end of the world. Kara does not know of any other of Alex's family members besides his sister Lori and his niece Melanie. Just compression. But does she know how to do CPR? Yeah. Yes. Not According to court documents, police would later use Alex's cell phone data and GPS coordinates to locate the remains of JJ and Tylee in the backyard of Lori's husband, Chad Daybell. How far are they? How far, How far are, are you? We're pulling up out front right now, so they're grabbing their equipment and they're coming in. But Alex's death ultimately was ruled to be from natural causes. Bilateral Father. pulmonary thromboboli with atherosclerotic and hypertensive cardiovascular disease, otherwise known as blood clots and heart failure. Uh, while Alex has been implicated in the death of JJ and uh, Tylee, we know for certain from one of Lori's friends saying that the last time JJ was seen alive was when Alex was carrying him and JJ was asleep on his shoulder. Live in Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.